periods of sharp cooling, extreme heat, natural disasters in recent years are caused by climate changes on Earth. According to United Nations estimates, over 600,000 people have died from floods, storms and other normal weather events in 20 years. Another 250,000 will die annually from the effects of climate changes between 2030 and 2050. Temperature records are beaten almost every year. The ice is melting faster and faster, and somewhere glaciers disappear completely. The level of the world ocean and the acidity of the water are rising. The last five years have been the hottest on record. The excess of average temperatures in comparison with the pre-industrial period has already reached 1.1 degrees. As a result, forest fires, prolonged heat waves and other devastating weather events, including hurricanes, droughts and floods, have increased. The area of ice cover in the Arctic Ocean in winter has been shrinking over the past 40 years, by an average of 12 percent every decade. The four lowest values since 1979 also fell on the last five years. Annual volume losses of the Antarctic Ice Shield increased at least six-fold from 1979 to 2017. In terms of the level of glacier melting, the last five years have also become record-breaking in the entire history of observations. If from 1997 to 2006 the sea level rose by an average of 3 mm annually, then in the next decade the rate of ocean advance was already 4 mm per year. The reason is the sea water temperature rising and melting of the glaciers of Greenland and West Antarctica. Since the beginning of the industrial age, the acidity level of the oceans has increased by 26%. From 2015 to 2019, CO2 emissions and the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere as a whole grew annually by about 20% faster than in the previous five-year period. Global temperatures have risen by an average of 1.1 degrees Celsius compared to the pre-industrial period that is over the past 120 years. Although five years ago, this excess was 0.9 degrees. The last time the concentration of carbon dioxide in the Earth's atmosphere reached comparable levels that is exceeded 400 ppm about 3 to 5 million years ago. The average temperatures were then 2 to 3 degrees higher than the current ones. The ice in Greenland and in the west of Antarctica melted completely and the sea level exceeded today's by about from 10 to 20 meters. At the same time, the rate of increase in the level of CO2 only in the last 20 years has grown by almost one and a half times. If from 1985 to 1995 the concentration of carbon dioxide grew by an average of 1.42 ppm per year, then from 2005 to 2015, this figure was 2.06. All processes associated with global warming are accelerating at a comparable pace. The rise in the level of the world ocean, the loss of winter ice cover in the Arctic Ocean of Antarctica, the decrease in the ice shield in Antarctica and the melting of glaciers in Greenland an obvious trend 
towards a decrease in snow cover in the northern hemisphere. Excess heat settles in the oceans. 2018 was a record year for the amount of heat contained in the upper layer of seawater at a depth of 700 meters. In some regions, precipitation has increased significantly. In others, it has dropped significantly, leading to a simultaneous increase in the frequency of droughts and floods in the world. Prolonged periods of hot weather have become the most dangerous meteorological event on all continents over the past five years and have already claimed tens of thousands of lives around the world. In addition, hot weather has led to an unprecedented increase in the number of wildfires, especially in Europe and North America, but also in other regions. In summer of 2019, fires spread to the Arctic regions and the number of fires in the forests of Amazon became a record. The most dangerous natural phenomenon in terms of economic losses was tropical cyclones, bringing with them floods and landslides. In this sense, the record belongs to Hurricane Harvey in 2017, the damage from which is estimated at $125 billion. The report separately emphasizes that the main cause of climate change on a planetary scale is human activity. Scientific publications devoted to the causes of a particular natural phenomenon are usually delayed by several years. However, in the period from 2015 to 2017, Anthropogenic factors were the direct or indirect cause of at least four out of every five weather disasters. At the same time, the real consequences of global warming turn out to be stronger and come faster than scientists expected ten years ago. And as the situation worsens, the risk increases that the changes will become irreversible. The temperature of Earth in the past years has become a record high in 3 million years, and what the world community has pledged to do in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions is not enough to prevent a climate catastrophe. Supporting the growing need for adaptation measures, more than 3,000 scientists from nearly 120 countries are now calling for active participation in the global movement to protect people and nature from the effects of planet warming. In a statement, Scientists, including the five Nobel laureates, warn that failing to respond to rising climate risks will have serious consequences, especially for the poorest segments of the population. If we do not adapt to climate change, it will lead to increased poverty, water scarcity, losses in agricultural sector, and skyrocketing migration with significant negative impacts on people's lives. The Climate Change Adaptation Summit concludes the Global Adaptation Commission's Year of Action. A number of concrete results have been achieved this year, including the development of stress tests for vulnerable infrastructure in Bangladesh. According to the Commission, every euro invested in climate change adaptation projects ultimately prevents climate change damage of up to 10 euros. Many of the measures needed to reduce people's vulnerability to extreme weather conditions are well understood and relatively inexpensive to implement. This include, for example, early warning systems for storms and the planting of trees to help prevent floods and landslides. Thank you for watching. Hope it was interesting. 
subscribe to the channel, put your thumbs up, ring the bells. See you soon again.